So I had this idea to make a, a painting for the Creative Visionary Program uh, that's my example painting, uh, you know, that I'm going to film all the way through. And sometimes I take on things that are too much. I have a habit of doing that. It's almost like, well, I'll double, double it and you know, try and do these things. And, and I, at least it'll be interesting. My biggest fear is that me making this painting uh, would, would be boring. And so I do something kind of outside my comfort zone, or that's the idea anyway. And so my idea was that I would paint this large, a large painting, maybe the, one of the biggest I've ever painted. And that painting is the one behind me. It's an eight foot by eight foot painting. And uh, it was just such a learning experience for me because I was really afraid of it. And uh, when, when COVID started, which is when I was gonna be working on it, um, I couldn't really come into the studio. I mean, I could, but it wasn't really safe. And it was this perfect excuse uh, to postpone <laughs> and not do this, not do this painting. So my name is Nicholas Wilton and this is Art to Life. And today I'm talking about expectations, expectations we have of ourselves and, and how we how we gamify it for um, to to put things off, to get things done, and that that whole journey of avoidance and, and eventual uh, attempts, and that whole that whole experience, it really played out in a funny way for me with this painting. It was so big and so daunting, and I I got the perfect excuse to not work on it. But the problem is, and this is something that I noticed, the longer you postpone something and the more you think about it, uh, the, the, the less likely you are to begin it. And it's crazy because I teach this stuff. Like this is, these are things that I teach that I'm experiencing myself that I'm not even realizing. And, and so that lesson that thinking about making art and thinking about things um, that haven't happened yet and obsessing about them doesn't actually relate at all to the experience of doing it. And the, the lesson, the, the first thing to do is to just begin, to just start. And I remember doing that. I remember coming and thinking, well, I'll just, I will just, I can shoot. I, and I had to film it too. So I had to talk my way through this painting. So I, I think I just talked about, I was gonna prime it. That's what I did. I primed, that's easy, you know, just putting white paint on, you know, and that, so that starting is something to really remember. That's sort of the, the beginning of the way out. Um, once you begin it and you're in it and you're looking at it and we're looking at the blue color next to the red color and this thing and this is happening, if you're really looking at this stuff, if you're really involved in the thing that's in front of you, the anxiety and the worry about will it turn out or is this too big for me or all that, it sort of drifts away. It, it's no longer um, part of the conversation while you're doing it. And so this is important to remember because you, you got to just stay in it. If you stop again, then all that kind of worry and dread surfaces and comes back. Being in your art, it brings you to the present. And the present is really comfortable. It's really great. It's where we, what we love to do. It's why we make art. And so um, that's just a, a good, great thing to remember that this painting wasn't at all like I thought it was going to be. Um, certainly while I was making it, um, it was really pretty fun and there was weird things that happened and challenges, but it wasn't at all like I thought. So that's the second kind of lesson. The first being to just start the thing. <laughs> second, to just drop into it and experience it for what it is. And then third, the, the outcome of this picture was, like I chose this because I wanted to struggle. I, and I know that, you know, even though I don't like it, I know that it, I can teach well when I'm struggling. There's just a lot of things that happen. You know, it's like, it's vulnerable. It's, it's, it's gonna be an interesting ride. But this painting wasn't that. This painting that was probably one of the biggest paintings I've made in a long time. I think I've done some bigger commissions and stuff was, it just was really easy and it just came together in a matter of hours. It wasn't at all like my normal paintings. So the lesson in this is that you, you don't get to know ahead of time how things are gonna come out. And I don't think 
really, I was reluctant to even sort of share this, like, wow, this painting was so big and it came out so easy. That's not really the point. The point is that you don't, you don't need to glom on to, to the fact that this was easy and therefore this is great and wow. It's, it's more that sometimes it's easy and then sometimes it's really hard and neither is that important to attach yourself to. This is the journey that we're on that it's sometimes it's, it seems like effortless, like just so cool and I'm just really excited about it. And, and, and you know, I've been pa making paintings since that suck and they've been taking forever and I'm even a small one, I can't figure it out, you know. So it's not about you've arrived. It's just, it's just about the, the, it's about life. It's about how we don't get to know the outcomes of things and to tank too much of our energy and time and focusing on that, things that haven't happened yet is just a waste of energy when we can be so involved in the process of these things becoming. And, and it's like, so, so what do we get? What do we get? We get a cool painting sometimes, um, you know, which is great. But I think it reminds us again and again, it reminds me that we get to be involved in a process, a process of art making that brings us to the present. Uh, it, it fills us with curiosity. It, it fills you with, us with wonder. Like these are, this is the win. This is the win that we get. And whether this is easy or hard, it, it brings you there. I mean, for me, it, there's such a wonder because it's like, wow, like this is, this is kind of amazing that this happened this way. I'll never forget this painting, you know? And it's just, it's kind of great that I've been doing this for so long and I'm not, I'm not burned out, you know? I'm still like, oh, this is so cool. So that's kind of what I wanted to share with you. And I'd love to hear, you know, your, your thoughts about this, you know, how you, um, you know, how, how you manage this, uh, the ups and downs of this in, in your practice. So go ahead and leave a comment below and um, I'd love, love to hear from you. We also have an awesome uh, free artist Facebook group. You guys want to join that. And um, we just finished doing this really cool contest in there. So we're doing some fun things in there. Um, that you could be a part of uh, if you check it out. So it's free. Oh, I almost forgot, you guys. So last week, uh, we did a uh, really cool uh, vlog interview with Christine Ikabuzio Donahue, and she uh, has this amazing book called Hidden Beauty. And one of you guys, um, and I'm gonna announce that in a second, is uh, been chosen as a winner from the comments to get a free copy of her book. Um, also, if you didn't win, uh, put a link down below where you can find the book. Um, I highly recommend it. It's amazing. And the winner is Judith Henry. Congratulations, Judith. Um, just contact us at info at art to and we'll get this book out to you. Thanks so much. I hope your Sunday's really, really great. Okay, thanks. Hey, everyone. If you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach share and inspire you with every single week. So please join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.